Hello, welcome back to the channel. There's snow on the ground, the wind is getting up, the sun's going down, and so is the temperature with it. And I thought this would be an ideal opportunity to talk a little bit about a type of shelter. And the type of shelter I wanted to talk about was something called the super shelter. Conceived by Moore's Kahansky, it creates a small bubble, traps a person's body heat inside, but also allows it to be warmed by a fire. Effectively, it's a greenhouse, but it replaces the sun with a fire to give you that warmth. Made using, as he described, space age materials that are lightweight and can be easily carried. Now, the original one was designed to have a wooden structure and then you carried the materials to create the windproof heat reflective layer. The one that I'm going to show you is a much lighter weight affair. You can carry the materials and they're all pre-set up, ready so that you can deploy them nice and quickly. Now, Morsey's Space Age materials, all they were was some ripstop parachute nylon, very lightweight, very windproof, very fast drying, a sheet of polythene, well I've used a standard builder's type dust cover and a mylar blanket, just a standard size that comes out of your first aid kit. And all of mine is designed to go with a standard USGI type poncho. Now there's been several versions of this. Kelly Halton does one, I've seen Cody London and Dave Canterbury all do one. My one, very similar. I've made a few subtle differences to complement the kit that I carry with me. Here it is, weighing in at just 600 grams. This little package stows in the bottom of your rucksack, weighs very little, but could save your life. So, it's coming in now. I need to get my finger out, get a fire on the go, get the rest of this shelter up. So with the fire on the go, next, take my little shelter pack and attach it to my poncho.
So in here, completely different world. It is that little temperature bubble. I've got mylar up here, which is protected by my poncho on the outside, which I carry with me anyway. I've then got reflective mat underneath me, which is just one of those windscreen protectors. I've also got my little foam sit mat. If I was gonna sleep in here, well, I would just fill the inside up with any vegetation I could find, stuff it in my minimal scarf to create that bow bed underneath me or a, <coughs> a debris bed of some description. And that would help to keep me up off the ground and that little bit warmer. Obviously I'm getting heat from my fire out there, but I'm not getting the smoke. And all my body heat is radiating out, radiating out and it's being kept inside this lovely little bubble. Down at the base there, I've got my strip of parachute nylon and that is there to allow me a bit of breathability. I've sealed the ends in so that it's nice and closed in. I don't have to worry about suffocating because I've got a couple of layer spaces and I've got this strip of parachute nylon running down the side, which is breathable. And out here on the outside, you can see, well, uh, the snowing's eased off a little bit, but you can also see that I've set everything up so it can be deployed quickly. There's nothing worse than trying to put things together when you've got cold, numb hands. What I've done here is I've made these little paracord loops that are pre-attached, and all I do is feed them through the eyelets and then hold them in place with a little twig. Round here at the back, I've maximised the volume inside by raising it up. It doesn't matter about the gap at the back because the paracord drops down and then tucks in underneath. We've also got at the back here, there's a loop attached to the back of the mylar blanket, which pulls through the hood. I can then simply knock the hood off around it and this pulls out that centre, giving you much more internal space, so it's not so cramped. So there you go, that's my take on the super shelter. And all the principles work exactly as Moore said. You've got the reflective covering on the outside to bounce the heat back. You've got the drop down polythene that comes down at the front and it all helps to create that bubble. Obviously I've put in some reflective stuff on the bottom as well and an insulating mat, but if I was gonna sleep in here, as I said, I'd put in a bow bed so that I could lay in there and with a long fire, I'll be toasty warm in there. Now, this is a good bit of survival equipment, but it's really, it's quite terrain specific. Probably not gonna use this up in the mountains. This is more suited to, well, the winter woodland environment. But in that environment, it absolutely excels. If you enjoyed this video, then remember, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel you can also follow me over on instagram and facebook just have a little look in the description box down below and there are the links there are also the links to my etsy shop <coughs> one moment go over there have a look see what bits and pieces there are on there i do restock it fairly regularly with a whole range of very interesting very useful bits and pieces i think that's everything if you want to follow me over on Patreon, and if you do, there are benefits. You get a heads up on when the kit's in first, you get a discount on those kits, but you also get step-by-step -step instructions for this project and a few others as well. So there are benefits to becoming a patron. I think that's everything. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe.